Welcome to the Beam Cuckoo channel. In this video, we will describe the process of adding a new VMware CDP proxy server. First, make sure you have all the ingredients described in the recipe before proceeding. So let's begin. Click in the backup infrastructure view, select the backup proxies node, click add proxy and select VMware CDP proxy. From the choose server list, select a physical or virtual Microsoft Windows server to be used as a VMware CDB proxy. Click in next. At the cache step of the wizard, specify the path to a folder to store the cache data and how much space can be used for storing the cache you should allocate at least 10 GB. Click on Next. At the Traffic Rules step, you can optionally configure network traffic rules to throttle and or encrypt the traffic sent between backup infrastructure component when it's necessary. Otherwise, just leave the default and click on Next. At the Review step of the wizard, Review components which are already installed on the server and which components will be installed. Click in Apply to start the installation of missing components. At the Apply step of the wizard, wait until Veeam install and configures all the required components. Click Next to complete the procedure of the VMware CDB proxy role assignment. At the summary step of the wizard, review details of the new CDB proxy and click Finish to exit the wizard. Thank you for watching this demonstration and make sure you check out for more videos of the Cookbook series.